And now down to three players. This is the second and third place match coming up right now. The winner of this match proceeds to the finals to play Jason Shaw right after this. That'll be one race to 13. This is still a race to seven. And at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the two players from Sacramento, California. Please welcome Amar Kang. Come on, make some noise for Amar. Thank you. And his opponent from Toronto, Canada, the one and only, the lion, Alex Paggy Lion. Yeah! yeah! And once again, it's our pleasure to turn this over to our great friend Daniel Bush and Geraldine over at POV Pool. Good luck, players. This is the grasshopper from Fremont. How are you guys all doing out there? We got a nice match here. Alex Pegalion and Amar Kane. This is this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so Alex is racking them up. Alex is actually from my uh, hometown, Toronto, Canada. That's where I was born. Okay, Alex. Smash him up and let's get started. And the race is on. Okay. Looks like the one ball is makeable. A little bit of a long shot, but definitely makeable. Geraldine is going to be joining the grasshopper here in a minute. So Alex is, uh, even though this is the one ball, he, he sees this as very, very important to make this shot. He wants to start this race off right. You know, I thought that four ball might be a problem. He might bump into it, but he got around it really nicely. Yeah, same scenario here. Make sure you don't don't get behind that eight ball. Got a feeling he's just going to draw back, slide through the rail, and come back out. Oh, no, he left the stroke out. He wanted to go three rails. Nice. Beautiful shot. Nice bump. Yeah, that way he doesn't have to shoot over that six ball. That makes it so much easier. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, these live streams. It's, it's just great competition. I mean, these, these players are just fantastic. You're seeing pool at the highest level. Hi, Geraldine, how are you? She's waving, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> uh, 
Well, we got our first uh, roll of the game here. Alex missed and left a really tough shot. This is not the kind of shot that you want to come to the table with. Where you, you know, it's kind of a real difficult shot. You might have to just play safe. First shot at the turn, the table. Oh, look at this. Nice touch. Uh-oh. A little too straight in. That was a really tough shot. Alex has got this beautiful touch on the ball. this is going to play Jason Shaw for the final. <laughs> Alex wins the first game. Racking him up pretty quickly. <laughs> Let's stay in rhythm. Goes his warm up strokes. He's getting ready to smash him. Oh, I like the way that cue ball it bounces and has that top English. Looks like he'll be shooting the two ball next. Oh, no, no, excuse me. The one ball's right in front. You know, the only two balls I see tied up is the eight and the nine, but they're kind of like straight in for the corner, so that won't be a problem. Assuming that we can get to the to the eight. On the rail, long straight in shot. Nothing easy about this. And he hit it absolutely perfect. This is a, basically a speed control shot. If you got good speed control, you should be fine for the three. There it is. Yeah, really nicely on that ball because now all he has to do is stop the ball. The five. He decided he wanted to draw back a little bit. I think he gave himself a little bit more angle than he wanted. But uh, a player of his caliber, this is uh, pretty easy for him. He hits these shots really well. His speed control is really phenomenal. There it is. So like we talked about earlier, uh, I do believe he's going to that little combination that's straight in. Once he gets to that eight. Oh, nice. 
guess I'm, I'm happy for him that he didn't bump no balls because that could have caused trouble. You know, the key here is uh, not only make the nine, but make sure you got a good shot on the eight. Nice soft touch, just like that. And you can go either side of the, the ten ball. Two rounds, perfect shape. His speed control is really good. My goodness. Man, this guy is playing really well. Well, yeah, Mara's doing a lot of sitting. Just watching. Alex is performing very, very well. He's putting on a clinic. Two to zero. Alex Pagalayan. Canadian kid. They call him the lion. Again. Got a nice shot on the one ball. They're all spread out. He's pretty happy with that break. Just don't bump that eight. There you go. Once you bump a ball, I mean, it, it messes everything up. Your speed control's off. Your angles are off. I mean, these pros, they like to just go right around all the balls. They don't like to touch them unless they absolutely want to break them out. Walks around, checks all the angles where he wants to be. From what he just did there, uh, I'm thinking that the uh, the four and the six are the key balls for this rack. So that's what he really was paying attention to. He's shooting a little faster than he was earlier. You know, these tournaments, they get Late in the tournament, they they, they, they dialed in on the uh, speed of the table, and they just run through the rack like no problem. You know, Alex just uh, finished beating Gus, and Gus is a very methodical, slow shooter. I think Alex is... Happy to like be shooting a little quicker now. I'll probably just draw this back just a little bit. Got a good angle. Uh, probably, probably draw this back about six, six inches or so, eight inches or so. Beautiful, my goodness. He has so much control, cue ball control. Oh, we're watching Alex. He's he's in dead stroke right now. It's three to nothing. He just ran that rack out perfectly. He was in line on every ball.
you know, running a 10 ball rack is so much more difficult than running a nine ball rack. And he made it look easy. You know, Alex is a, he likes to joke around and have fun, but man, when he's on that table, he's all business, no jokes. Cue ball stop, stop right close to the middle. Nice break. Once again, he's got a shot in the one ball to get started. You see that three ball, he's got to put a lot of inside English on this shot. This could be a little tricky. Unless you're just a phenomenal shooter like he is. A little tricky. When you start putting maximum inside English on a ball like that, you know, your accuracy just goes down. Poor Amar, you know, no open shot. He's, he's, he's safe. He's shooting, but, you know, he's blocked. He has no shot, you know. Just go down to the end rail and try to kick it. He's looking at a three rail uh, kick shot. Oh, I don't know if he can go that way. That five ball is looking pretty big there. He's gonna try it anyway. Oh my goodness, he hit this ball so close. Oh wow. What a shot. I think he touched it. He's barely touched it. Shooting jacked up like this. Oh yeah, smart shot. Just play safe. Yeah, I know. Alex, you wanted to get behind that three ball. So Daniel's back here. Uh, commentating by yourself is uh, pretty tough, Daniel. So Alex has just been putting on a clinic these first three games. He just broke and ran out the last rack. Omar hasn't had any, any starter shots. He's like, comes to the table, he's always safe. <laughs> Yeah, I just stepped outside and, uh, you know, some, uh, this Russian guy, stranger, <laughs> just came up. He says, Ming, uh, who are these guys? This, this <laughs> Asian guy is ridiculous. <laughs> That's a good Ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe they play so good. <laughs> that is really good. Oh. I can do Indian pretty good, but I okay, can do Okay, come on now. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of practice uh, living here in <laughs> Fremont area. So uh, what am I looking at here? I just got back, so tell me what's up. Alex has been in complete control. Uh, every time a mark comes to the table, he's hooked. You know, he hasn't had a starter shot, and Alex is putting on a clinic. And uh, being a Amar fan is... Uh, I'm like, come on, give me a shot. Give my boy a shot. I want to see a hill hill match. That's 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 my uh, motto. Yeah, you want you want all the all the matches to go hill hill. You know, even if Amar was winning six to nothing, I would be rooting for Alex. Come on, Alex, hill hill. Well, we got uh, three zero, huh? Yeah, it's looking like four here pretty soon. Assuming he can get back on this uh, nine ball, which looks pretty easy for him. You know, Alex missed a, a severe inside English shot, which is very tough to do. And other than that, he hasn't missed hardly anything. Uh -huh. 
So how many times has the mark gotten up? <laughs> I think like three times, something like that. Not very many. Look, look how fast he's racking. He's in like balls. he's in like a hurry. I know. He just does. He think we're on table time? <laughs> yeah. If it was, it would be loser pays time. <laughs> he doesn't have to worry. Yeah. So uh, you know. By the way, I want you guys to know the finals. Um, Jason Shaw waiting in the hot seat. The finals will be race to thirteen. Wow, I like race that. Race to thirteen. That's a great race. Yeah, that's almost like you know, that's that's almost like worthy of pay per view. <laughs> you mean it's not? It is not. This is a free live stream. I don't know how you can do this for free. Well, you know, it's with the help of all of the sponsors that uh, have worked with us. Uh, JB Cases, uh, Tiger Products, Tom Tips, West State Billiards, and Carmel Cues. You know, these guys have stepped up to make it possible. Big time threads. And by the way, we're, uh, you know, we have t-shirts here too. If you want to pick up a t-shirt for the West Coast Swing, West Coast Swing t-shirts, $16 or $23 shipped to your doorstep. Just send a, a payment via PayPal to CA Billiard Club at yahoo.com. You know, your sponsors are getting tons of coverage. You know, if anybody out there want, you know, is on the, on the verge of wanting to do some uh, advertising, I, I would encourage them to, because you really, you know, push their product. You do a great job with your graphics and your, you know, they get they get a lot for their money. <coughs> Thank you. You know, we work really hard to, uh, you know, we strive to push the bar every year. The West Coast Swing's been going on now in its fifth year, uh, working with Chris Swart and uh, Delbert Wong and Eddie Aregwin, three premier pool halls in California to provide some of the best action that m money can buy. And wow, did you see that? I think Amar purposely played off that seven mm -hmm. to the side pocket. He played a good shot and he's perfect on the three. It's nice to see him shooting instead of just sitting there. You know, the speed control, these guys are just, they're dial in on the speed control really well right now. They don't get out of line. Well, Amar's going to have to play perfect pool for a minute here if he expects to uh, give Alex any competition. So let's all hold our breaths. This, this is a key shot right here, too. That seven ball. Kind of in a weird spot. Uh, Mars got a line here. He's got a shot on the seven. He's got to be careful now. The cue ball travels too high. He could end up behind the ten, but I doubt that's going to happen. He's perfect. You know, Tony Chohan, his cousin earlier, he yes. had a shot that was slightly hooked, and he did a beautiful little mass A around the ball, no problem. Uh huh. Beautiful, beautiful. Little bump. Oh, that was a good bump. That lined up perfectly. I want to say hey to Dennis Nassar, DJ Nassar in the chat room. He's been a longtime supporter of POV Pool, and he's seen us grow. Starting back to the day when we used to do our live streams with a laptop and a, and a single camera. All right, Amar's on the board. Well, just the uh, four to one. Just the upgrade from last week until today with this huge monitor. <laughs> Your setup is so much nicer today. <laughs> Next time I come into the booth, you'll have like a truck outside with satellites or, or you know with dishes and stuff. Or 
You're like the Super Bowl, you know? <laughs> All right. Four to one. Oh, man. So quick. I just sat down. <laughs> it's four to one. Yeah. I just left to go to the restroom and a <laughs> cup of coffee, and uh, this match is almost over. <laughs> you but almost you know what? It. it might not be almost over. I mean, uh, great things can come from a Mark Hang who has spent years perfecting his game. I, you know, I think he, he played a scratched, match. Scratched on the break. I'm sorry. I think he played Efren one time in Lost Case Game, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not positive, but I believe that that was the case. If you can take Efren Reyes to the hill, that's, that's saying a <coughs> You know, I think I want to play you some nine ball when all these uh, tournaments are done, so you're, when you're really tired. I'll play it tonight. No, no, no. I said when you're really tired. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I, need, I need to bounce around a little bit, you know, get the blood circulating. Hey, happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope everybody has a happy, uh, safe 4th of July. It's 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, I hope all you guys watching back east or, or in the Midwest and the South, uh, and also uh, all you guys up in Alaska, I want to say hi to my friend uh, Max Adams in uh, Fairbanks, Alaska at the break room. Hope you guys are all watching and having a good time, sweating some of this action. Happy Independence Day to all of you. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, America. You know, I was born in Canada. I've been here since I was 10 years old. I have dual citizenship. I love this country. What a, what a place to live. Yeah, yeah. The American people are, are just so friendly. Incidentally, I want to say that, uh, I don't know if you mentioned it, Grasshopper, but uh, uh, Alex Pagulian is sponsored by Carmeli Q's. He really? uses a Carmeli, you know an aerial Carmeli Q. That's right. <coughs> so maybe uh, if you guys pick up a, a, a Carmeli, you'd be on the way to using some of the best equipment in the house, in the Shire. He's from my hometown, uh, Toronto, Canada. Is that where you're from? Yes, I didn't know you were Canadian. Yes, Are you a citizen of the U.S. now? Dual citizenship. Oh, wow. Good for you. You know I'm a British citizen, right? Yeah, I know yeah. that. I, I learned that on your, uh, your stream one time. Yeah. I always wanted to go to England. Oh, Alex is just in, he's just feeling it. Yeah, he's feeling it. I wish I could get positioned like him. I'm always on the rail over a ball, almost scratching. You know, they, they move the ball so much with so li little effort. It, it's just beautiful stroke. Years of practice. Yeah, years of practice. And not to mention, you know, sheer talent. Wow. <laughs> and living right so you get a couple rolls. Yeah, yeah. You know, talking about living right, I mean, Alex is one of the nicest guys. You know, he's a great role model. Uh, I think it's five to one. He hasn't moved the beat over, but yeah, there it goes. There it is. Five to one. No matter how fast you're moving, don't forget to slide that beat across. 
And boy, Alex is in a hurry. Nice break. Looks like a safety coming. Oh, good speed. Good shot, Amar. I think you should say hi to your friends down in LA, South, Southern California. We have so many. Yeah, I mean, you know, it'd be lovely to see some of these guys, uh, some of our favorites from Hard Times Billiards and Bellflower, guys like, uh, you know, Foch Garcia, Johnny Kang, Dave Hemma. Uh, got an Oscar. You know, we got some damn good one, nine ball players down there. Oscar Dominguez, he, he's supposedly coming in. I really want to go down there and play one, one tournament with you guys down there. The guys down south are really nice. All right, let's see, combination coming. This is a very demanding shot. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was very difficult. Well, I got a feeling he's gonna draw back, right back behind that two and Send the one way up top. And that's going to be safe. And uh, I'm not sure if there's a Massé escape. It's going to have to be a two rail escape. And I tell you what, if he can't, I don't know. It's going to be hard to catch the second rail without hitting the four ball. He's getting his break cue is the only legal cue that you can jump with outside of your playing cue. No jump cues allowed. Oh, he wants to go in between the eight and the four. They hit the one that head on. Nice shot. Wow. Huh? That was a fantastic shot. Man. That was pretty. <laughs> Let me catch my breath for a second here. <laughs> I felt like you just slapped me in the face with that shot. Yeah, uh, th there was no four ball in uh, factored in there at all. Thank you, Mauricio Maraquin in El Salvador for your donation to POV Pool. Every bit helps. Thanks for the lunch, man. Thanks for the for the fifth of the tank of gas that I'm going to be able to put in my car now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> gas prices are so, you, gas is going up 14 cents in California. Can you believe it? That's too much. By September, it'll be 14 cents more. Oh my goodness. Was that a road tax or something? Yeah, it went, went up two cents the other day. It's going up another 12 cents. So thank you, Mauricio. <laughs> wow. Man. Thank you, uh, thank you to DCQs for your uh, for your donation. Longtime supporter of POV Pool, we really appreciate it. Well, 
you know, Alex has got a shot coming through the table. Three balls in a really bad spot. He'll make the two, but what do you do with the three? You know, maybe maybe you don't shoot the two. You play safe. Well, what if he was to stop his cue ball, send a uh, two ball, three rails, and get it close to the three, and then when he takes ball in hand, he can try a shot, make a shot, and break it out. I got the three six. You know, there's an old saying, when a ball like this is tied up, they say, you know, like the first person to make the two ball loses. And that's because of this situation here where you just don't have a clear path. He's trying to see if there is a clear path. And I can almost guarantee you that if he plays this to try to get on the inside of that three ball for a shot to the corner, uh, that we might have to get a referee involved. But he's going to play this. He wants to hit below the side pocket and then uh, just come in between the nine and the seven. That's what I think he's going to do. He hit the eight. So no good. And he can't come above the top of this. He's going to kick at it. He wants to kick and stick this or hit it very soft. Yep. He didn't like it, but he got there. Yeah, he did. So that was just a containing safety. Buying some time. Oh, that was a nice little shot right there. He covered it up pretty well. Yeah, I think I think we got to play some nine ball after this. Uh, race to 13. Can your son stay up that late? <laughs> Yeah, he's on vacation. He's fine. <laughs> Every time I miss a ball, he's like, why aren't you trying? Is, is Andrew listening to this right now? Yes, he's got he the is. headphones on? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> how old is he anyway? 15, 16? <laughs> no, um, he's 14. He's good, man. He's a good kid. He likes phone pocket. It's like his daddy. Wow, what a save. Perfect speed. I see this. everybody's hitting the ball at perfect speed. It's, it's pretty scary. So San Francisco at the Colt Dixon, we heard no complaints about the tables, uh, no roll-offs. I haven't heard anything here either. Well, like the tables in uh, family billiards, they are also maintained and updated by none other than Ernesto Dominguez. So these tables are also Dominguez. Uh, I did hear a little bit of chatter uh, on the first day when these guys were warming up, but uh, it was only from one person who shall go nameless. Just because I'm not into, you know, putting people on blast here, but uh, he probably lost gambling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, my my. No, he didn't gamble. Actually, he's huh? no. I just, you know, some people are very nitpicky about the tables and uh, you know I, I just to confirm his story you know I, I I hit a couple of rolls too you know but really what it is is that brand new cloth and maybe um, we were up up in the rafters working um, all evening you know and you know sometimes dust will come from the ceiling or something and and what I noticed was the ball was rolling like a little left and then a little right you know and sometimes that just happens you just got to clean the cloth that's right you know and then just kind of brush the nap the right way there's not much of a nap on these cloth but the thread the way it is uh the way it uh is woven well you know here and Fremont, stretched here in fremont we love pool i mean it's it's player after player on these tables and they don't have time to sweep them up clean them up yeah yeah but i haven't heard outside of that i haven't heard one one issue about the table uh, uh, if anything, a lot of these players are not used to using the red circle ball. 
And Alex is, is upset. What did he do? Oh, third foul? Uh, it must have been. Third foul. Yeah, I believe it was three foul rule. 10 ball does not count on the break. It's an interesting rule. I want to take a minute just to uh, thank uh, West State Billiards for working with uh, the West Coast Swing events this year. Um, we're actually proud and honored to be working with West State Billiards, servicing all of California. Check out WestStateBilliards.com. Find out how you can get your own table at 0% financing. Wow. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is go in, get approved. You can even get, get approved over the phone. Uh, you know, do you like Olhausen, Diamond? The uh, California's only authorized diamond dealer is WestStateBilliards.com. So if you're looking for anything diamond, uh, Olhausen, you want uh, gold crowns, give a call to West State Billiards or check them out on the web. You know, I was seeing an interview that you had about those uh, pool balls, those latest and greatest. Pool balls. Yeah, the, the really high-tech pool balls. High-tech. They're like uh, Aramiths, but they're even better. They have more, more of that type of material. More phenolic. Yeah, more uh, so phenolic. The Brunswick Centennial Cyclops Cyclops. Yes. Cyclops. Yes, Cyclop. yes. Mm -hmm. I heard about that. I was listening to you talk about that. Very interesting. I am not partial to the Cyclop ball. Um, I like the way they play uh, on bar tables, um, but I'm not partial to the to the Cyclop ball, uh, mostly because of the color. Uh, uh, I, I often get confused by the uh, by the color of those balls, but uh, you know, different strokes for different folks. You were saying that the six and the seven, you were getting always confused with those two colors. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I really wish you would have opened up the box and show us the colors. <laughs> While you were doing the interview, I was like, let me see the colors. When was this? I was just, this a video that you watched? Yeah, on okay. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get cycloped all the time when I play with those balls, man. <laughs> Anyway, I don't want, I'm not knocking them, you know, um, but, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm kind of a traditional player. I'm open to new things, but, you know, you have to go to great lengths to prove to me that something, uh, you know what, though, with the Cyclop balls, there are certain trick shots that, uh, especially jump, jump trick shots, something about the weight distribution of those balls that, uh, uh, make it very easy to perform a few different types of shots that uh, that are otherwise difficult with uh, some of the Brunswick Centennials or the Aramith uh, tournament balls. So Mike Massey would love them. Yeah, I'm still waiting for some some uh, uh, you know in-depth analysis, ball science, you know. I'm still waiting to see the video on that, and I will gladly play it on my stream and promote your YouTube channel if you, if you do a good enough video that, uh, you know, is deems appropriate for playback on our stream. This uh, two balls in a pretty awkward spot. Wait, I'm, I'm looking at Alex's face. He looks so fresh, like the tournament just started. Beautiful shot. Perfect speed. He's got a little angle, so he can, he can punch this cue ball off the shot down for a uh, four ball in the corner or four ball in the side pocket uh, or four ball in the opposite corner. So he's looking at that angle right there. He's got a lot of options. Does he want to play to the short side of the five? Is that what that means? Uh, 
Yeah, let's, let's he's rolling too much. He's not happy with this. That's probably the first shot I've seen him overshape. He's now, playing that well. Yeah, now he's going to he's going to have to screw this ball uh, two rails out of the corner for shape on the five like it'll be a cut shot on the five. Um, he can afford to bump into the eight or nine at the right speed, but he's not even going to. In fact, might get a jelly roll here. Well, that was uh, that was unintended. In fact, I think he he played it at that extreme angle because he didn't want to hit the nine or the eight. You think he was uh, shaping for the short side? No, no. I oh, think he, he wanted, wanted to come over more. Yeah, but he wanted to come over a little bit more to the left. To the 10 ball, closer uh, to the 10. Yeah. He's going to miss. No, it went in. He hit a lot of rail early, huh? Yeah. You know, I want to just uh, mention... You may have heard it in the last couple of matches by Chris Swart, the owner of California Billiards, that he specifically uh, requested four and a quarter inch pockets be the specs of all of these pockets at, uh, at uh, California Billiards, unlike the specs that were requested by Delbert at Family Billiards, which are three and seven eighths. So, you know, we got three quarters of an inch different in the difference in these pockets compared to Family Billiards. You know, I think when you tighten the pockets up too much, you kind of change the game. You know, the, you, instead of going three rails, you're trying to go one rail. I think you just take a little bit away from the game. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. What a great shot that was. Beautiful stroke. He's, he's left with a sort of a back cut that you, you have to play pocket speed. You know, and for the amateurs uh, and, and, you know, p people that don't play a lot of pool, they come into the pool hall, they want to make balls. They don't want to struggle, struggle, struggle. It's true. It's true. So it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out for Delbert through the year uh, with his tight pockets. Uh, but I, th I think the other 11 tables there are extra loose. They're friendly. Yeah. <laughs> extra loose. Friendly <laughs> pockets. Happy pockets. Yeah, I played on a big pocket table when I was up there. Uh, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I could make more balls. Those huge pockets you can back cut. You can do all kinds of crazy things. Thank you, Victor Perry, for your, uh, for your uh, contribution, your little donation there to POV Pool. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's keep them coming. You know, Daniel and uh, Geraldine, they have a lot of equipment that they have to keep up. Well, have. yeah, that's true, you know, but uh, I don't want to be greedy either. You know, the, you guys are great for for helping, you know. And You're so humble. I got to I gotta p push the uh, issue a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always trying to help my buddy. Geraldine's making sure the score is accurate. So uh, we're at six to two. Alex Pagulain against Amar Kang. And this would make it. This would make it Hill two. This would, uh, this is a third place match by the way. And uh, the winner of this match will play in the finals against Jason Shaw. And he's been breaking the ball so consistently. It, that looks like a replay from every break. That cue ball bounces, <laughs> bends up. I mean, it's like a replay. It's like the Matrix. You just keep seeing the same thing over and over. <laughs> he shoots like he's Neo. Neo from the Matrix. Yeah, he's, he can do things that nobody else can. Man, he is just a really, really phenomenal, strong, smart, powerful stroke player, this Alex Pagelein.
know, uh, a lion is a powerful animal, but uh, I think more like Godzilla would fit him more <laughs> a little better. <laughs> He's just a beast. I mean, the score is six to two already. Nice. He's just not giving Amar Harley any chances. And Amar's playing great, but he's just not getting a lot of opportunities. A little force follow. So, uh, seven, does that pass? The eight? I do not think it does. I don't think it does either. So he might break this out now. Yeah, mm. for sure. Yeah. It didn't It didn't Ooh. do much to help yeah. him. But you know what? Combo. He has manufactured a possible combo. Yeah, I agree. I don't really see him being able to come up and down to break it out because the nine's in the way. No, I don't think he's going to do that. He's going to play for the combo. And he got a good angle. You know, you got to hit this right. You got to predict where the seven ball is going to go with uh, a lot of accuracy. He's got a long bridge. My goodness. How you can shoot so accurate with that long bridge. Look at that, how he kept that seven ball right in the same pocket. That's really nice. Nice work. I don't think I'm going to see my Hill Hill uh, request that I always ask for. It's over. And Amar. Amar. Great sportsman. Amar, I tell you, you know what? Congratulations, third place. Taking third place, uh, $1,500, you know, that's nothing to shrug at. You know, a $300 investment bringing you $1,500, that's, uh, no doubt. that's gonna help him, uh, you know, definitely get into the rest of the tournaments and a little bit of food and a couple bucks left over, yeah. so. <laughs> he likes to buy nice clothes. He can go buy nice clothes with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the Nordstrom racks I got a sale, you know. <laughs> so uh, hopefully uh, we'll see him tomorrow for the one pocket, and uh, you know we'll see him also on our downtime at the Nordstrom rack. So wow! <laughs> and now you're, you're going to see what Alex Pagaline and Jason Shaw. Oh, yes, race goodness. to 13. I'm sure we're going to take a five minute break and come back. That sounds good. And this is tonight, folks. Race to 13, final match. Jason Shaw, Eagle Eye versus the Lion, yes. Alex Pagulion. So stick around.